Hello guys, I'm Stan Shotit here. Today we have a very interesting video. So last day I took a certain picture of a simple coach bus, the Navigator Generation 3. And from that picture it garnered a lot of attention and it reached Simba Coach Management. And he was awarded a NFOC. So I could go to Kampala and come back. And here is that jam. Enjoy it. The departure time is usually at 4 p.m., but it is advisable for him to be at the booking office 30 minutes before for boarding manenos and all that. But Nimi Ninani was there one hour before. He will up for three so that I can get you some nice shots of the interior. So the bus has two by two seating arrangement for the business class and first VIP seats. All seats will recline, meaning comfort is guaranteed. The VIP seats are at the front, while the business class seats are behind the VIP seats. All seats are well labeled and will not be easily confused. The bus is also fitted with conventional sockets, so what you are writing, in case you put a revision on your way to Kampala, on a plug in, on a, on a revise, then you are just kidding. At exactly 4 p.m., our 652 kilometers journey to Kampala started. Our driver for the day was one senior captain, Anwar, and our conductor was Mr. Morgan. Since there was no traffic, we used the University Way, then joined the Uhuru Highway, then Waiyaki Way. But on a day where there is traffic, the super coach normally uses Kipande Road, joins Waiyaki Way at the Museum Hill Interchange. The weather was nice, it was sunny and warm, but later on, the weather completely changed. So, enjoy the sunny vibes because they don't last for very long. Something I forgot to mention. This is the Scania F360 bus. 
it produces 360 precost hours and 1750 newton meters of torque at 1000 to 1350 rpm it has an optic cruise transmission with eight forward gears and one reverse gear optic cruise simply means that this is an automated manual transmission which means that the bus does not have a clutch but the onboard computer pre-selects all the gears for the driver depending on his driving style, inclination and speed, ensuring efficiency and also improves fuel economy. This bus has been fabricated by Bandros. It's a navigator series, which I'm preferring to say it's the generation 3. Considering we already have the first generation, it was uh, fabricated on the Scanf return chassis. And then there was the second generation of uh, navigator bodies fabricated on um, Ascania P310 chassis. All those bodies have been fabricated by Bandros for Sim. We are still yet to live in Nairobi City in its totality. Here, Barabara Wano Joe, that is the Nairobi Expressway. And if you look closely, Pulembele, you will see the museum hill in the church where Uru Highway ends, and then immediately we start, we start to Yakiwe as we head towards West Slums. We have joined Wayakiwe. Um, on our left hand side is Chiromo, and then on, the, on our right side, you'll find um, La Rosa Pembitsky and the likes. and young women, they are showing young friends. This is Westland, so this was a roundabout that I'm going to be cleared by the former government on the left. It's a number two stage for what we're going to do. It's going to be Kangini, Kangware, Westlands, not Westlands, Kikui. Yes, that is the one that's going to be through. Now, this stretch is a if you are a fan of bus photography and are a member of the various or one of the various groups, bus groups on Facebook, here is one of the sites where our one of our one of our best photographers has taken some shots. He goes by the name Wangi Wangi Jose, our original time. Monkey with Jesus. So he, here is his area of speciality all the way from here to where the expressway ends and starts depending on where you are going. Kindly consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you have not done so yet. Anyway, it seems today I will be doing a narration and quotes for this video. I will be pointing out some interesting tidbits, like for example, on my left, on my right, sorry, on my right hand side is the Safaricom headquarters. Safaricom, for those of you who do not know, is one of the biggest, is one of the largest telecommunications provider in Kenya and also one of the largest taxpayers.
watching um, ABC, ABC, ABC places on our left, go to Lapita. And then this is the Wayaki, Wayaki Way, James Nishuru Road Junction, where on the underpass you'll find on the left side, Barabara Kwanda Lavington, and on the right side, Barabara Kwanda Kashie, Wakamete, Iwa. Right now we are approaching one of the oldest schools in Kenya. On the right hand side uh, is the school, formerly known as the Prince of Wales School. But two you, you may know it as uh, Nairobi School or Punch, which is a name that was given to it back in 1965. You see that building up ahead? Yes, the one on the left. That is Deloitte Kenya, one of the largest accountancy firms around. The locals call this day Juaroko, but if you're racing a matter to commute here, you can be a conductor to Kishi Deloitte. Chances are, you change height room. So choose your names once again. Up ahead is Kangemi Town, and if I'm not very, very mistaken, I might be, but I don't think so. Is the is where Nairobians, and then we have Kimbo County starting from here after that bridge. Bye. Anyway, if you are passing by here and you are going and then you are going to go kindly put your phones away, otherwise, there is a lot of danger. Right now we are in Kutiru. In Kutiru we have um, also Kuna, some of our best photographers who have taken some shots here at the links of Simon Kimani and Pia Chris Kalonje or Colmex. This area is called Copa or Corporation, and this is Chris Kalonje's stronghold up and Kwake opposing door. Ahead is the stage where we have a 
passenger we are picking up. Uh, interestingly, this is where Southern Vipers on the left hand side joins Nairobi Pago area. Oh, you can't see it, but on the right hand side is Western Vipers. All these bypasses are interconnected. For example, Southern Vipers starts at Ole Sereni and then at Gitaru. Nearby, the Western Vipers starts at Gitaru and ends in Ruaka. Northern Vipers again starts in Ruaka and ends at Rero, where the Eastern Vipers begins and then ends at Cabanas. Just as we are about to reach Zambezi, we start Sorini. Zambezi is a town in Kikuyu County, sorry, in Kiambu County. Um, it actually has a very funny story about the name. Now, up ahead on the yellow building, that's a PCA church. But before it was a PCA church, it was an, a motel owned by settlers before independence. So this, the hotel was called Zambezi, and hence the name Zambezi. Can you see the cats and dogs? Because it, that is what is raining. You see that road on the left? Yes, that one. That is the transit route. So all heavy vehicles, heavy commercial vehicles have to use that road and can no longer use A104 up to Mepasha. So they use that road, they pass through Memahio and rejoin A104 at Mepasha.
Right now we are headed to viewpoint, but before we reach viewpoint, where we are at, at this particular moment is called Komadore. And here during COVID times is where the roadblock was where when there was a lockdown, you couldn't pass between counties. That is where the police barricade was set up. So right now we are headed to viewpoint and actually at this I think I it's here up and Bella Kidoko. It's where it's where one of the best bus photos in my opinion has ever been taken by one Mr. Chris Kalonji. Kelvin Kebs also took the shot, uh, but there it is. So here is the viewpoint. The local store at this area call it Horukuma. On the left is the Kuno shops, and on the far left you'll see the Grift Rift Valley from this high point. Wacha to some measure with Jamoa Parado, Mega Kidogo, Mutumurumi, Mjin, Nonaja. Wacha to Murumi, Vanzon, a viewpoint, a lot of CCT and a Totuna Rakasan, Wacha Jibambe. Pre COVID, this was a famous set for bus photographers and enthusiasts and foot soldiers. You need picture Malon and Bravonic Sipat. various activities such as zip lining, zip lining, actually, actually it's, you exit here when you go into the forest, you exit on the left exit before Fike station. Also Kaba seed is found here, Kaba seed is the leading producer of compressed carbon dioxide or as my chemist teacher would love me say it, carbon for
Chicken Moides Nyawera that is there was a Somali here it was called Utam Singba let's go to the next Billy is going to go and make a malwa jamaa make a next plan to the driver and my hunting spot so can you go up on the barrier this is the place where I took these photos much too long ago the forest here was very very dark and huge and this especially this particular point was a notorious hijacking point to a point where a roadblock here was installed i don't know how many of you can remember that right now we are approaching kinale forest and i have a fun fact for you on the left side back in the early 2000s nyayo the then late president who introduced what was known as the nyayo tizons they planted tea on the left side money was spent but mchanga no ni nani The, 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 the soil was not good for, for the project, so it later died and they introduced the African olive tree as far as my kinsmen would call it. But the now if you walk through the forest, especially on the left hand side, you will find a lot of metamayos growing there.
approaching Kinungi descent as we leave the Kenyan Airlines to the Great Rift Valley. We will be leaving behind the Nyandaro County into Nakuru County. So Nakuru County starts somewhere up ahead. And then the, as we declare, as we descend, you will see Lake Naivasha Ukombele. And I hope you enjoy the scenery. You see the lake, and up ahead that is Lake Rivasha on the left that looks whitish. It is the second largest freshwater lake in Kenya after, after Lake Maringo. Guys, we are now living in Nyandaro County, and now we are in Tunaku County. Tunaku Kaboda, we are in another county now. So.
as we head into Kerosha and Kayole and Naivasha. As we cruise to some slow 90s R&B, we are now in Kayole, heading to the Kaseta. to my Vesha Junction and on our left Pomali Kuna Green Vegetation that is KWS Training College. If you are going to Kinokop, here is where you branch off at the right junction. So you exit here, go on the right, and then up on that Kinokop. If you are going into Naivasha town, you use the left exit. So you pass the right junction, then go ahead until you come to the left exit, the junction up ahead. That is the one you use to go into Naivasha town, especially if you are going to see a public beach, a Karagita public beach, and flower farms, and where our politicians go for the uh, us. So we have roughly 557 kilometers to cover and at the moment it is 550, 5.15 in the, in the PM. So now that means if it's 550, around 550 kilometers to cover, then we have an, around 10, 10 to 11 more hours to go, which at one end, if my mathematics are correct. But in the meantime, I enjoy the beautiful Naivasha green scenario.
if you were back in 1895 and uh, the, the then colonial map was in use, I think here is where the border will be. The playlist here, guys, it is the part where you remember that road I told you is where the transit route starts from um, from um, near Limuru, the place called Kamandora. Now is the point where it joins back here on the four. So, my Peter and my Mahio, Naivasha, now it's back on the on four, and uh, now it, uh, this becomes now a transit route again. We are right now at that notorious, notorious stretch between Naivasha and the Gilgilwe Bridge. I say notorious because up a, you'll see a lot of indiscipline, the people don't observe land, dis, land discipline and generally up a traffic kwa major. Like I said, if you go stretch, expect anything, Anna. After a few minutes, the road is clear. I'm now headed to Gilgilwe Bridge. For those of you who love camping, on my right there is a campsite, it's called Malawa River Lodge, so they have quite some nice campsites, and then on the left, I can't remember the name of that lodge, but there is also, it also has, a, has several campsites, so, come back again. We are now at Gilgilwe Bridge, which is going to be and do you? Let's go see the of the vehicle. The lorry ahead of us is clear. Watch out, see to get to
it's our turn now and this is a 6x2 bus it's maximum which will be between 22 and 26 so that is 21 we are clear i think banpros makes some very light bodies acha tuendele We are now approaching Gilgil and up up here it's a site where some kuna picture hapa zimepiko na our photographers from both Basalt Africa and Kenya Basalt. Here are the ones I found. I found one for Simon Kimani and Chris Kalonje. We are now passing through Gilgil. Gilgil town is in Nakuru County. And I think it's one of the towns with the largest number of military establishments in the whole county. For example, there is a minimum of two military joints. One of them has Koilel High School inside of it. Then NYS, there is an NYS camp somewhere. Alafu anti-stock theft headquarters are also located in the area. This, the area also has, a, has several schools. For example, in the town alone, there is DB Primary Township, NOS Primary, St. Teresa's, and then there is Utumishi Primary and Utumishi High School. And we hear Dreamline near Malindi from Nakuru. According to my trusted watch, it's 6.35. I don't know to copy, but hopefully someone in the comments will let us know when we get with them. So we are now passing through Kikope. Kikope is a famous rest point for truckers and transit drivers. Also, I don't know how to eat it. But back when I used to eat it, it was good. Let's speed up because up at Jamil Kwakidoko. We had to alimentate and on our way to Nakuru. Giza, Giza, so see me in Kia. It's night time. As we head to Nakuru, but to Jafika Nakuru now, already Shakwa Giza. On our right here is a school that, um, in it was in as boys school. And maybe I should learn the end of high school. We were arch enemies. We were enemies against each other. We were going to get along. And Nakuru down was not going to be done. If you were to meet in any other school or in Nakuru showground, there was a fight. I don't know if that changed. It's still the same. So, but first, before I tell you which school I went to, take guesses in the comments. Then I'll let you know which school I went to. The time is 7.13 and now we are passing through Pipeline. Pipeline is an outskirt town outside Nakuru city. Hapandu kifika hapa unajosa so mefika Nakuru. Dual carriage for Nakuru now starts all the way up to up to Njoro, Njoro Junction. But there are calls called that Junction Soil. Um, Soiro.
for all my party peoples on the right uko mali kuna mata mata that is why you will find platinum 7d one of the best entertainment spots in nakuru county Approaching Nakuru, Nakuru, Nakuru city, it is not far Nakuru. Sasa. Apart from being the youngest city in Kenya at the moment, it is the fourth largest city after Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu. It just recently gained its cityhood status. Nakuru city is also known for its wildwood activities. Uh, it has Lake Nakuru, which has the, I think, if I'm not very wrong, the largest population of pink flamingos in Kenya. And also some buffaloes are found there. Yeah. Deep into Nakuru, a minor accident. We witness a minor accident, but take one day just now. Approaching Joro Junction, and if you can remember, I told you to guess the high school I went to. Your academies were shining as boys, so it's Joro Boys. So I went to Joro Boys High School. Junction, Junction, the Queen Kenjo, right somewhere up ahead. I think you will see it right about now. The way up on Bella on the left, so the Kia Pukin Danjoro. If you're going forward, you proceed as you turn on the left to head it to Salga. We are on our way to Salga now, and the OCC turned to Kupita Asiba Semen, the plant that, that was introduced in Salga. Hello guys, I'm here. We are on our way to Kampala, and we are on our way to Salga. We are on our way to I'm on board Simba Coach, let me flip the camera. Is the bus and unfortunately this marks the end of part one of the video because anyway the, the whole journey was around 13 hours so it has to be in part two now in asia watch it the part one then i'll give you the part two in the next episode hope you enjoyed guys and we will move on up with you got the boot the mongovo family thank you for watching kindly comment like share and subscribe to the channel thank you